fire alarm isn't a very nice thing. It doesn't play Beethoven's fifth, does it? And <laughs> it's supposed to wake us up. It's supposed to let us know we need help. You know, the conscience is, is a bit like a, a fire alarm. It's a buzzer that goes off when we do something we know we shouldn't do. And God put a conscience within us so that we would know that we need a savior. Let me tell you a little story. I went in to get a haircut and my usual barber shop was closed, but across the street there was one of these places. Unfortunately, I had the door open and the lady in there saw me and it was not my kind of place. But she said, may I help you, sir? And I said, well, I'm looking for a haircut. She said, do you have an appointment? I said, no, no, that's fine. And I started to back out. And she said, oh, no, sir, we'll look after you. Come on in. And so I went in and sat down. And she actually passed me coming outside and got a woman who was getting into her car to come and cut my hair. I thought, wow, this woman thinks I don't know what a good haircut looks like. So she just picked some stranger off the street to split the, the price. <laughs> but actually, it was a lady who was employed there who was heading for home and so she came back in and got me strapped in and she said to me uh, what's your name and I said Jabe and she said that's a strange name and I said yeah what's yours she said my name's Delilah <laughs> oh I said well <laughs> I said uh, you know what the Bible says about you and she said yeah I guess I was fated to cut hair Well, I said, actually, the Bible doesn't say that Delilah cut the hair. She got a barber to do it. She said, is that right? I said, oh, there are lots of interesting things in the Bible. She said, like what? I said, well, like Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. She said, are you a believer? I said, I sure am, Delilah. What about you? She said, yeah, just a couple of months ago. I said, what? She said, well, I lived in Hollywood, and I, I did the, the hair for the actors on the sets. And she said, you know, they used to have these all-night parties. You could break all Ten Commandments at those parties. And she said, I lived just like an animal. And she said, one morning after an all-night party, I got up, bleary-eyed, looked into the mirror, and I said to myself, Delilah, you make me sick. She still had a conscience, didn't she? And she said, I called my boss. I said, I've got to take some time off. And he gave her three weeks, and she went and got a Bible. She said, I'd never looked at a Bible. And she didn't know where to read, so she just opened it up and started reading at the first page. And she said, for about three weeks, I read my way all the way through this book. It takes about 50 hours to read through the whole Bible. And she said, I read, and I read, and I got to the very last page of the Bible. And I thought, maybe God doesn't want me. Maybe I'm so bad. He doesn't want me. Here I am ready to read the last chapter of the Bible and nothing's happened. Well, you know, in the very last chapter of the Bible, Jesus, one last time, invites sinners to come. So she said, I came. And she had left her job there and come to Michigan. She had some relatives there. And I was the first person who had talked to her about spiritual things. And she was so happy. She said, when I just was honest with Jesus and asked him to come in, the burden was lifted off my heart. She didn't have many fancy Bible words to use, but she knew what had happened to her, that Jesus had saved her from the burden of her sin. Let me tell you, the gospel is free. Jesus paid it all. There's not a penny left to pay. You can't pay a thing. It's a gift. And you must receive it as a gift or you won't receive God's eternal life at all. Surely you can trust someone who would die for you. Jesus died for you to save you from your sin. And he doesn't want you to add anything to what he's done. On the cross he cried, it is finished. What do you suppose he meant? I looked it up in the Greek. Do you know what the Greek means? It means it is finished. <laughs> Just exactly what the English means. It's finished. He didn't say I'm finished. He said it's finished. Everything necessary to save us from our sins was done. And all he's expecting us to do is to receive him. Salvation is not in a religion. 
It is not in performance. It is not in good works. Salvation is in a person. Thou wilt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. God took your sin and mine and accounted it to his son and punished his son instead of you and me so that if we would agree with God about the problem, our sin, Jesus was dying for my sin, and we would accept his gift of eternal life in an instant, the whole account would be settled. The debt of our sin would be paid and we would be born into the family of God.